so this video is about uh, the the situation which is currently keeping everyone uh, stressed out and it's actually uh, stopping us from uh, a lot of things which we are currently doing or at least mentally uh, it's not letting us focus on the important daily things that we are doing hey guys welcome to our channel travel with sobia j where we post about canadian immigration and our vlogs about our canadian life with three kids because we as mothers we as parents we are really worried uh, whether you know how how to keep uh, ourselves and our children safe from the current situation and our other family members uh, safe from the current situation which is going on right now and which is which has taken the whole world into a complete um, stressful uh, condition so, so first of all what is coronavirus coronavirus is basically it, it's it's not new uh, it there are already the, which have been discovered before which have been diagnosed before like MERS which is Middle East Respiratory Syndrome and the SARS all these are coronavirus but this type of coronavirus is new it's novel uh, coronavirus and which uh, started off in China and there are confirmed like you know uh, up till now there are 95,700 confirmed cases of coronavirus and out of those 3,280 uh, cases have been reported uh, dead so it's not a time to create panic or get panicked ourselves because something is there is out there we can uh, protect ourselves from that we can try our level best to protect our children from that and uh, there are a few measures that we have to take in order to avoid that life is going on everyone is going to office Everyone is going to, the children are going to schools. My daughter's school is not off. Uh, everyone is going there. And there was a letter. I got a letter from the school board that, you know, if anybody is traveling from uh, these specific areas, from these specific countries, if they are coming back from these areas, sit at home, observe your symptoms. And if you have any cough, cold or fever, just report yourself to the hospital, wear a mask also and uh, keep yourself you know um, separate from isolate yourself stay at home there is nothing harm in staying at home for a few days in order to keep yourself uh, in order to keep the others uh, safe from this um, disease so what we should do the schools are going on the offices people are going to offices the doctors the hospitals they are working you know normally so instead of creating panic we should observe these things what are the precautionary measures that we should take in order to save ourselves and save others from this uh, condition uh, wash your hands uh, properly after every i would say two to three hours after going out of the home after coming back to home you know and even if you are eating anything before eating anything don't eat out for a few you know for a few days it would not uh, harm anyone for a few weeks just avoid eating out uh, wash your hands sanitize your hands keep a hand sanitizer at all times in your car in your bag in your children's school bags and ask them to you know uh, make them teach them to uh, sanitize their hands after every few hours and also before handling uh, food and after handling food and uh, don't touch if you're going don't avoid public places at this time uh, if you are going into lifts if you're going uh, into like through if you're traveling through the public transport uh, it's better to you know uh, when you whenever you touch something probably a gate the bus uh, the door of the train or something you know or if the um, touching the railing of the stairs when you are going down in a metro uh, to reach your bus or train um, you are sitting on the seat your hands are touching anything you know always keep sanitized keep yourself sanitized keep your hands sanitized okay and for children this is first of all we have to build our immunity strong and how can we do that we have to keep ourselves like you know keep yourselves away from the outside food the thele walas the street you know 
uh, vendors just avoid eating from them because you never know who is transmitting this disease to you and also do not this is also transmitted through animals so avoid unprotected contact with animals and unnecessary contact with live animals don't touch them and i'm talking about outside uh, animals okay keep your pets indoors keep your uh, pets washed cleaned all the time and uh, uh, to build up your immunity increase the use of you know vitamin c products like oranges lemons in your diet and all those products which are increasing your vitamin c levels in your uh, body and uh, bananas they build immunity all the fruits all all the all all types of food that are building up your immunity you have to take that take your multivitamins on time so it's basically hand hygiene it's basically avoiding contact and it's basically about um increasing your immunity from within from outside protection and inside protection is that in the inside protection is that you are building up your immunity you're making it stronger you're making yourself stronger and the outside um, avoidance is that you know uh, avoid contact hand sanitizers wash your hands uh, religiously after like you know every two three hours if you are working in office naturally you cannot sit back home because you know you have to go to office the house has to run so in this time when you are going to office when you are in lifts or when you are coming out of the lift sanitize your hands again and again you know after every two two to three hours or after any incident where you feel that uh, you there are other people around you so you have to keep yourself uh, uh, clean from that and one more thing if you if you have exposure if you feel that someone is coughing and someone is infected uh, or someone is coughing someone is sneezing or they have fever or cold you know and they have a, they have an incidence of uh, traveling just and if you have come across if you have been exposed to that person just see yourself look look out for symptoms as soon as you find any symptom just report yourself go to your go to your nearby clinic and get yourself or hospital go to your go, go directly to the hospital get yourself checked this is how we can protect ourselves this is how we can protect our uh, protect others from that and if you are um, sneezing please don't uh, sneeze or cough with your hand do it with your sleeve so that you know you don't spread germs because you are going to touch everything with your hands or if you're going to do a handshake so avoid all these things uh, where and minimal exposure minimal contact with the other person that would be really helpful for you and for others so regarding travel please don't travel unless and until it's very 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 important you know avoid all your uh, i know it's a Mar it's march break you know all the kids are getting off from their schools and you have planned vacations people wait for this uh, march break in order to uh, take their kids to vacations to some uh, vacation spot travel you know so just avoid these travels at this time do not travel do not travel uh, just to avoid the symptom because right now nobody even WHO uh, they, 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 they don't know they say that the condition is under control right now the symptoms whoever is being you know diagnosed is basically quarantined it's kept under kept under quarantine they have been isolated they are they are being treated the situation is not that bad right now it's not a panicky situation but yes if you do avoid uh, these things you will save a lot of mental pressure for yourself and for the for others so let's stay positive and let's get out of this condition safe and sound inshallah thank you for watching take care bye bye